Hi, in this video we will learn some basic fundamentals. We will learn what are types of contacts. Also, we will learn what is the power circuits and control circuits in industrial control. Please consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like and let knowledge enlighten your world. Here we have two main types of contacts. We have a normally open contact and a normally closed contact. So here this is called normally open and this is called normally closed. Normally open means that it's an open contact but when we apply an action for this contact it will be closed okay so here for example if this contact is connected to a DC battery and a DC lamp so here this lamp will be open but when we apply an action for this contact it will be closed and the current will flow to let this lamp illuminate do another action for this contact it will return back to be normally open and this lamp will be stop illuminating very good Normally closed contact is closed in its primary status. Which means that when we apply an action, it will open, it will be opened. And when we stop this action, it will return back to be closed. So here, let's say for example that we have another lamp. this contact we didn't do any action on it so the lamp will be illuminated when we apply an action for this contact it will be opened and open the circuit and the lamp will stop illuminating very good but what type of action an action could be applied on a normally closed or a normally open contact actually this depends on the device we are using if we are using a switch for example this switch if it's a start switch for example it's a normally open switch when we press this switch it will be closed this switch will be closed when we press it again it will be open for a stop switch this switch is normally closed when we press this stop it will be open press again it will be stored it will be returning back to being normally closed so, the first action is a switch, if we have an electric device which is a switch. We could have also a push button. What is a push button? A push button actually... is just like the switch let's say it's a start push button but the push button is not just like the switch when we press this start button it will be closed but when we release our hand it will return back to be open but the switch when we press it will 
B closed until we press again. So this is the difference between a push button and the switch. Okay. Sometimes. We use an electric relay. An electric relay have a coil. This coil, when we apply a voltage on it, it will make this contact to be open. And if the relay is here, it will make this contact to be closed. So this action for the contact depends on what type of electric device is used. But I need to, you to understand what is the meaning of normally open contact and normally closed contact. And in other videos, we will see other or types of electric devices that we are using in our course and have normally open and normally closed contacts. Now, let's see other classification for types of contacts. Here we have something called single ball, single throw switch. Here, single pole, double throw switch, double pole, single throw, double pole, double throw, and so on. Here, for single pole, single throw switch, it means that it have a single input and a single output. So, this is the first type, as we mentioned in our examples. So, it has one input and one output. And the contact could be normally open or normally closed. So it's a single input, single output. A single pole double throw switch have a single input and two outputs. So as you can see here, we have an one input and two outputs. For example, if we have here two lamps, let's connect the first lamp to the first input and the other lamp to the second input. So this is lamp number one and this is lamp number two. Let's now bring a DC source and connect it, the negative to the two lamps and the positive to the input. Now in the primary status, this lamp number one will be illuminated because the relay is in this position in the normally closed position when we apply a voltage on this relay it will have an action and it will move to be working in that contact not that contact so this lamp l1 will stop illuminating and the current will flow to make l2 work when we stop the action this contact will be returning back. This means that L2 will stop illuminating and L1 will start working again. For a double pull, double throw switch, it means what? It means double input and double output for each input. So here, for example, we have two inputs and each input have two outputs. This is the meaning of double pole, double throw switch. So here, as you can see, we have double input and double output. Each input have two outputs. And so on. In classic control circuits, we have two types of circuits, power circuit and control circuit. And both are very important. Power circuit is used for delivering power to high current loads. Let's say that we have here a load of a three phase motor. This is a high power. And we have here a three phase input. R S T three phase. Maybe it's a 380 volt AC. Now we will connect it to a circuit breaker and then to a contactor and then to an overload and then to the motor. 
So this is a power circuit. This is the circuit that is responsible for delivering power, a high power, to the load to make this load work. And this load is important for industrial processes. But actually, to make this motor work, we need to make the circuit breaker, the contactor, the overload to be turned on. The circuit breaker, I will close it manually. Very good. The overload is a normally closed contacts. Very good. But the contactor here is open, a normally open contacts. And to make it work, we need to energize the coil of the contactor. We need to apply a rated voltage for the coil of the contactor. Maybe it could be 220 volt AC most of the time. If we apply a 220 volt AC to this coil, it will make the contactor to be turned on and the current will flow to make the motor rotate. But how we will apply this voltage to this coil? We will apply it in the control circuit. So here, let's draw this coil. Let's say that it has a 220 volt AC. So we need a neutral and we need a line. Those together have a 220 volt AC. This coil now is waiting this line to touch it to make an electromagnetic field that will attract the contactor to be turned on. But now we have first a stop button, stop switch, and then a start switch. And then we will connect it to this coil. Let's call it A1 and A2. Now this stop button is what? It's a normally closed switch. So it's closed in the primary status. So the voltage of the line will pass it and stop here. Because the start is a normally open position. So it will not let this voltage to pass and to go to the coil. So the start button now we need to press on it. So when we press it, the current will flow and make this coil work. When this coil work, it will make this contactor to be turned on and the current will pass through the motor. So here we have a high energy or high power circuit and just a little current or a signal circuit. So this circuit is not the main circuit. It's not having too much power. It's just to let the control work. It's just creating a control for the power circuit. So this is the main circuit. But without the control circuit, we can't let this circuit work. This is a direct online circuit. We call it a direct online to control working of a motor. This is a very simple circuit and this is a very simple control circuit. In the course, we will have more advanced circuits. Please consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.